Hello friends, welcome back to Sekulat Manoj. Today in this video, we'll see how to create a new Linux VM on Microsoft Azure. In my previous video, we talked about the latest version of SQL Server that is SQL Server vNext and the main feature that it will bring is the its compatibility with Linux. Not only compatible, but it will work on Linux uh, platform operating system. So Microsoft has made available the Linux operating system on Azure and you can spin up or create a new Linux VM on Azure in minutes. So the main idea is to you know install or create a new Linux VM on Azure and after that install SQL Server on Linux VM because the SQL Server vNext will be also working on Linux VM just like it used to work on Windows. So in this video I'll show you how to create a new Linux VM on Azure. So first of all I'll take you to the Azure portal. Okay, so this is the portal portal.azure.com and after logging in with your Microsoft ID or Hotmail account, you will see this portal. Okay, and uh, uh, this is basically your persona. Okay, and it will show you your login ID. So this Azure portal gives you access to a lot of resources. Okay, and you can check all these resources here, right? So this is the new button where you can create a new resource. A new resource could be a, so if you click here, so new resource, all the new resources that you can create will come up here. So a new resource can be a compute. Compute means it can be a Windows Server, it can be a Red Hat Linux, Ubuntu Linux, or Windows Server with SQL Server, okay, and a lot of other uh, options. Then you have few other options like networking, storage, databases, and some other developer tools right so today we'll be creating a new compute server that is uh, linux server okay and i'll choose ubuntu server so we'll create a new ubuntu linux vm on azure so what i'll do is i'll choose this so let me click this and here you can see the details about linux ubuntu system so the ubuntu server is this ubuntu server 16.04 lts this is the version number and few details about you know Ubuntu Linux you can go through these links so there are some legal terms you can go with the you know legal terms and the privacy statements and select a deployment model here you have to make sure that you know this is a resource manager um, and just select it and you know uh, click on create now it will take you to a different blade where you know you have to name your Linux VM so what I'll do is I'll uh, name it as uh, Manoj Manoj Linux 2017 and uh, today is 0131 so I'm using this name right you can use any name of your choice okay and uh, VM disk type is you know you have two options SSD or HDD HD is your normal spindle hard disk SSD is the solid state hard disk username okay so I'll what I'll do is uh, user I will again create it like uh, 2017 01 okay and uh, authentication type so for now what I'll do is I'll not go with SSH public key but a password so a password I'll type a password Okay, and uh, just choose your MSDN subscription. Uh, resource group, I'll uh, probably you know use existing one. So what I'll do is I'll uh, choose uh, East Asia. And after this uh, location also you can choose. So right now I'll just uh, let it remain by default and click OK. Okay, so uh, the basics are done. Now I have to choose my virtual machine size. So I'll go with the very basic one because of because if I have to go with the expensive ones, I'll be charged like that. So I'll go with the very basic one and then I'll click select. And after that, uh, we I have some more settings to have. Uh, there are a few defaults, so I'll keep them default wherever I can. OK, and uh, so the storage is this uh, network, then the subnet default, public IP, the network security group. Then extensions, no availability, none. I'll not choose anything right now. 
uh, monitoring uh, and uh, diagnostics I'll just keep them as uh, default diagnostic storage account uh, again default so it will uh, be created wherever it is new it will be created as new all these resources and after that I'll click OK and then this is the final summary of all you know what all things I've chosen and most of the things are by default and a few of the things I've entered so subscription is here my subscription resource group I chose this you know East Asia then computer name I used it like this SSD username okay standard size and, and, and these are the new some defaults um, and uh, just like that and uh, just click on OK after all things are done so this is all you can see how much simple it was to create a new Linux VM so you can see here this widget it is showing deploying Ubuntu server 16.04 LTS so I'm all done and I'll just wait for this uh, deployment progress to complete and it takes um, two to three minutes sometimes five minutes and it will be done in just no time and finally the deployment is done and you can see the Linux server that we created is up and running so this is the widget that will show you the status and you can see here it is running and this is the machine name that we gave okay so to check the other settings and to know how we can connect to it uh, just click on this widget it will open a new blade and here you can see the all the details of your uh, Linux VM that you created and it just took us you know few minutes so this is the computer name that we set and this is the IP address that Azure has uh, you know automatically allocated and it will show other details you can check here so to connect to this Linux VM you can either connect from a Linux operating system from the SSH terminal or you can connect from a Windows machine by using putty so I'll click on this connect it will give me the IP address and the username okay I'll show you how to uh, download putty download putty and uh, just click on this you can download putty here and uh, check for Windows installer MSI uh, I'll click on this and it will install the putty installer so it is around 2 MB size and after the download is done you can just click on this MSI and you know install it so just just do a so I've already installed it so I'll not install instead of that I'll cancel it and I'll take you to the desktop so after install it in in your desktop you will get this link okay uh, just open it okay and here in this putty configuration tool you have to provide the this IP address okay copy and paste it here and click on open so here we are on the putty terminal on a Windows machine and uh, login so login is you can again go back here to the Azure portal and copy the username okay and uh, so pasting it here Control V or something else won't work. So you have to right click to copy. So just press enter and it will ask you a password. So it is the same password that you had applied while uh, setting up the VM, okay, in the Azure portal earlier. So I'm providing the password now. So in Unix terminal, the password is not visible while you are typing. So be very cautious about it. So I'm typing the password now. So now we are connected to the Unix terminal and you can see here the username is this user 2017-0131 and uh, at the rate you have this machine name okay and you have this dollar prompt so here you can apply any Unix command like the ls command okay so this ls command is the uh, file list so right now in my current directory there are no files so let us you know list out the files from the root directory okay so here you can see uh, all these uh, directories and all so like this you can fire similar the Unix commands and this is all uh, that you have to you know do and configure for creating a new Linux VM so this is how you know you can set up a Linux VM in minutes in Microsoft Azure without any you know hassles and logistical issues um, so this is it for today uh, in my next videos probably I'll talk more about this uh, Linux in Azure 
so till then stay tuned please subscribe please like this video and please let me know your comments thank you very much have a good day